On July 29th, the community of Westphalia lost their church, the Church of the Visitation, to a fire. Since then, they have been working together to restore their church, and today is a big day for them. Our Eliza Navarro joins us live from Westphalia with more on what they are cooking, literally. Eliza, what have you got there? Sierra, I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing because the Westphalia community is preparing for their 113th picnic. So I'm here with Dale to talk a little bit more about this. So what do you have here right in front of us? We got some fresh fried chicken and sausage. We just got off uh, cooked it, cooked it this morning and a chicken. And so we're getting it all together and waiting for a big turnout. And how long did it take to prepare this? Oh gosh, we like I said, we've been working it, it's a preparation months in advance, but it really kicked in gear this past week and uh, everybody just pitched in and got it all together, getting it all together. Now this picnic is a special one for you guys here in the community of Westphalia. Why is that? It's, so, it's a very special one. We just lost our church uh, June 29th and uh, we are trying to start a fundraiser back for it. And, but this is an annual picnic. We've had it for 113 years now and it's, we just expecting a bigger crowd, beautiful day today to come out. So we just looking forward to seeing a lot of, a lot of friends and family coming out. And how do you feel to see all of you guys come together and continue serving? Last couple of years, you guys have served over 6,000 plates. So how do you feel about that? Uh, it's, it's just great to have that many support family and friends and not even friends that come out from the community, not even parishioners, but they come out to help out, to help help serve the people. And uh, we're shooting for a few more few more plates, but anyhow, uh, we hope we sell it all, so anyhow. And to give perspective, how many pieces of chicken did you buy? We got right at 15,000 pieces of chicken, so anyhow, we'll try to put bushes out of business. Perfect. <laughs> See, there you go. So if you guys want to come only out here, today, uh, only for today. And time-wise, what time can people come out here? What else is happening? Uh, we have, uh, I think they're going to start serving plates around 1030 this morning and uh, till it's gone, I'm sure. And then... Uh, Live auction starts around 2.30, 2 o'clock, okay. 2 o'clock I think, and uh, got games and boots for the kids to play and lots of entertainment and a lot of stuff, so please come on out. We'd love to have everybody here. And what are your hopes for the future of the Westphalia community? I mean, you guys are very strong. You almost celebrated the 125th anniversary of that church, so how do you guys feel? Well, I feel, we feel we're going to get this thing rebuilt and, and, and get back to going like it was, so anyhow, I think the process is, is getting started already and so we're making the right move and going forward with it. Perfect. And for anyone who doesn't know, we're at the Parish Hall in Westphalia, correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so if you guys want to come out here, 1030, there's going to be a line. There's 15,000 pieces, you yeah. said? 15,000 pieces of chicken. Amazingly Got fresh. It done sausage. So if you guys want to come check it out and be a part of this picnic while also helping the Westphalia community, come on out here starting at 1030. And like Dale said, there's an auction at two o'clock and we'll be live on Facebook later to also show you guys the preparations back there. Uh, but for now, we're live in Westphalia. I'm Eliza Navarro, 25 News. Thank you, Eliza. Looks delicious. The community was about to celebrate the church's 125th anniversary before the fire burned it down. There will also be a mass at Parish Hall at 10 this morning.